हेलो फ्रेंड्स लास्ट क्लास आई डिस्कस अबाउट द वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बेस्ड डिवाइसेस नाउ आई कमिंग टू द केमिस्ट्री ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एज यू एज आई टोल्ड दैट ऑर्गेनिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स दैट मीन्स वॉट एवर इम कम्पोनेंट इफ यू ऑन टू डिजाइन दिस कम्पोनेंट कन्सिस्ट ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक सेमी कंडक्टर राइट सो दैट मीन्स फर्स्ट यू हेव टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द व्हाट इज द ऑर्गेनिक सेमी कंडक्टर हाउ द ऑर्गेनिक सेमी कंडक्टर वी वर्क इफ यू डिजाइन द ऑर्गेनिक सेमी कंडक्टर बेस्ड ऑप्टो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेज व्हाट विल बी द फिजिक्स बिहाइंड द ऑर्गेनिक ऑप्टो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेज राइट सो ऑर्गेनिक सेमी कंडक्टर ऑर्गेनिक सेमी कंडक्टर राइट ऑर्गेनिक सेमी कंडक्टर कॉन्सिस्ट ऑफ नाइट्रोजेन ऑक्सीजन सल्फर एलोंग विद द कार्बन कंपाउंड राइट सो मेनली द कार्बन कंपाउंड कंपाउंड्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस द नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन एंड सल्फर कंटेंट्स आर ऑलरेडी दे आर इन ऑर्गेनिक सेमी कंडक्टर ओके So if you consider about the carbon compound, right? Carbon compound, these are bonded with each other. Okay, single bond and the double bond carbon compounds are there. Okay. So if you think about the configuration of the carbon compound. Okay. So here is the one is two, two is two, and Here is the two uh, p x, two p y, and the two uh, p z. Okay, these two are the outer orbital, two s two, and the two p x and two p y, two p z. Okay, one s two is the inner orbital. The two electrons uh, are contained in the inner orbital, and the four electrons are in the outer orbital. Here, two s two that that is these are fully okay occupied. And two s, two p x, and two p y. These two are the half filled. Okay, only one electron is there and one electron is there. And two p z, this is unoccupied. Okay, now this one is two, and here this two p x, two p y. Okay, one is this two s two orbital and two p x, two p or b, two p y orbital. This orbital can create the uh, three half filled sp two hybridized orbitals. Right? How? In this way, this can create. In this way, this can create. This is known as the sp two orbital. Okay, half filled sp two hybridized orbital. Orbital. Okay. Now, suppose this sp two orbital. This is the parallel with the Zero degree. Okay. Now, what about the two p z orbital? Okay. This two p z orbital. This is the unoccupied, unhybridized orbital. Okay. This two two p z is the unhybridized orbital because these two these three can create the hybridized orbital that is known as the uh, sp two orbital. Okay. This is like a triangular shape. Okay, so this is the sp two. Now this two p z orbital. This is the unoccupied, unhybridized. Okay, the uh, structure of the two uh, p z orbital is like this. Okay, <coughs> this is the two p z orbital unhybridized. Okay, this two p z orbital. This is uh, this. Is the create this can create the 90 degree with the sp2 orbital on the plane of the sp2 orbital. Now here I am considering another carbon. This is the one carbon, another carbon. Okay, for the second carbon again this carbon create sp2 hybridized uh, plane. Okay. Here is the two p z orbital, and this is the sp two orbital of the second carbon, right? Now, these two p z orbital, these two p z orbital, both can create the bond. Okay, both can uh, create the bond. 
now and uh, here you can see this is the bonding orbital right now i am just considering only the two pz orbital how the electron can uh, uh, move from one two pz orbital to another two pz orbital this depends on the energy level okay here i am considering that this is the energy level direction of the energy level the higher energy level and the lower energy level now sometimes the electron can move from one two pz orbital to another two pz orbital freely okay when in electron move from one orbital to another orbital here it can create the delocalized electron density okay now you can see okay this is the electron density right and this is known as the pi orbital okay so the location of the electrons electron can move this orbital to this orbital in this way it is going on this is the location of the electron this can create pi orbital and this uh, for this case okay so sometimes the electron can interfere destructively okay so that means the electron density if you see the electron density here the same electron density will not present in this orbital the electron density will be present in this orbital okay this is called the destructive interference okay when this thing is happen this will create okay so in this case you can see density is uniform in a particular location here density is not uniform okay so this is called the anti bonding this is called the anti bonding pi star orbital this is bonding pi orbital this is anti bonding pi star orbital here in this case the electron can move freely from this location to this location and this can create a bonding pi orbital location of electrons are in this location okay but in this case some interference are there okay due to this the electron cannot move from this location to this location this is known as the anti bonding pi star orbital now this is the again you can define this is as a homo and this is as a homo okay uh, homo means highest occupied molecular orbital okay homo is the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital okay so that means here the electron density is uniform right so this is the highest occupied electron is occupied in the entire location highest occupied molecular orbital okay now you can see here electrons location of electrons are there but this is empty space okay that is lowest unoccupied molecular orbital okay pi star orbital lowest unoccupied molecular orbital okay so lowest an occupied molecular orbital okay here is the highest occupied molecular orbital okay so you cannot see any empty space in this homo orbital okay but in, in case of the homo orbital there are lots of empty spaces okay this two orbital is like the valence band and conduction band of the inorganic semiconductor so in case of the inorganic semiconductor valence band that is the occupied by the electron okay no free electrons are there this is equivalent to the valence band and the lowest unoc unoccupied molecular orbital this is equivalent to the conduction band right now there is a gap between valence uh, this homo level and the homo level okay so these are the suppose uh, pz orbitals are there in different atoms 
this will create the homo and this will create the lomo the energetic gap between as the electron densities are different for these two cases so that there is a different energy level okay the energetic gap between this homo and lomo this is defined as the band gap of the organic semiconductor like the energetic gap between conduction band and the valence band okay this is the band gap okay the band gap for different kind of the organic semiconductor the band gap is different so that different kind of the light can absorb by the uh, this different kind of the organic semiconductors right so this is about the chemistry of the organic semiconductor right so depending on the structure of the organic semiconductor we can define the different uh, electrical optical and mechanical properties which is different from the inorganic semiconductor okay so for case of the inorganic semiconductor so material the uh, atoms are uh, strongly covalent bonded with each other okay so for this case inorganic semiconductor for inorganic semiconductor covalent bond is there right so this can create a hard and robust material okay but in this case okay here van der waal ball is there bond is there okay so due to the van der waal force okay this organic semiconductor normally soft and the conformal okay so here i told you hard and robust okay due to this hard and robust high mechanical flexibility issue is uh, flexibility is not there in case of the inorganic semiconductor right so but due to the soft case nature organic semiconductor has high mechanical flexibility properties right so you can easily use the organic semiconductor in case of the flexible electronics this is the mechanical property apart from the mechanical property another is the electrical property in case of the electrical pro property so uh, inorganic semiconductor the high mobility high mobility so electron can move from one atom to another atom very rapidly and this follows the scattering mechanism okay this is the high mobility but in case of hopping transport is there electron can hop from one molecule to another molecule due to the this hopping nature organic semiconductor has low mobility so there is a uh, speed issue in case of the organic semiconductor okay this is about the electrical uh, property so in case of the electrical property organic semiconductor has one disadvantage right but in case of the mechanical it has the one advantage the high flexibility another is the optical property right in case of the optical property organic semiconductor has the high strong, uh, strong optical absorption coefficient that is 10 to the power 5 per centimeter but in case of the inorganic the coefficient is the 10 to the power 3 max per centimeter okay due to the strong optical absorption coefficient we can use the organic semiconductor in normally in organic optoelectronic optoelectronic based devices okay now coming to the types of the organic semiconductor organic semiconductor can divided into two parts one is the small molecule and another is the polymer small molecule means this consists of the uh, one car two three carbon atoms and the um, some extra molecules nitrogen oxygen like but the polymer this consists of this is like a chain okay carbon chain okay so you can use different different advantages disadvantages are there in case of the small molecule one of the material is the cupc copper thiocyanide and under the small molecule here is the p3ht this is the polymer chain okay now uh, for 
so if you design the small molecule based uh, devices okay so for this case we can uh, easily control the thickness of the layer okay and we can uh, the structure is the uniform if we design the structure the structure is the uniform and we can control the thickness of the individual layer but in case of the polymer based devices we cannot control the thickness of the polymer layer and this is not you will not get the uniform uh, film and uniform thickness in case of the polymer right uh, so here the oil defined structure this is not oil defined structure again so if you uh, we can easily design the bulk structure that, that is the co mixing okay co mixing of the structure by polymer material which due to this the efficiency of the device can be increased but the bulk structure is difficult by using the small molecule based devices okay uh, so due to this we cannot use this is the bulk structure here we can design the bulk structure here we can normally design the bilayer structure okay if we design the bilayer structure i will discuss about the bilayer structure and bulk structure in the next class but if we design the bilayer structure efficiency is low right and now here i told that the layer and thickness these are not uniform in case of the polymer so for this we cannot control the thickness and the layer so for this uh, lots of trap states are available in case of the polymer based devices due to the steps uh, trap states you will not get the uh, the mobility will be decreased and you will not get the high response from polymer based device here you will get the high response okay as less number of trap states are there okay now another thing if you design the small molecule based devices so that it, it will be the time consuming okay so you have to uh, we can use the polymer uh, uh, you can use the vapor deposition technique for this case small molecule based devices so it will take the time it will time consuming okay but in case of you can use the spin coating and normal printing technique uh, procedures okay so it will not time consuming so these are about the uh, difference between the small molecule based uh, organic semiconductor and polymer based organic semiconductor next class i will discuss about the what is the bilayer structure bulk structure and some uh, physics behind the organic semiconductor based devices thank you